We are going to introduce our winner's final, which is going to be Gabrielle Benetton and Machu Lopez as they will be out there on the water. As we have one more minute to go, and it is official. It is Gilly Brandau. So both of these guys on that final wave. So Gilly Brandau is the winner. Third position here in Ibiraquera. Congratulations. Parabéns, senor. And also congratulations to Arturo Marais because he almost had it on that last wave. What an event. Nothing but final buzzer beaters. But that guy there, Gili Brandao, on the podium here in Iberaquera. All right, so we are going to go into action. Green flag is up as we have the big final coming our way. All right, so Matthew Lopez and Gabrielle Benetton, both of them out there on eight meters. You can see Matthew with the Duto Neo eight meter, the Neo SLS. We can see Gabrielle Benetton there with the section eight meter. Both of the boys, Gabrielle was out on a five seven, Matthew on the stubby. As we continue on, who is going to be the winner here in Ibiraquera? Gabriel Benetton is always the champ. And here we can see Gilly Brandao coming in like he was a champion. As he is third position here. The local, the legend. He has put in Brazilian kite surfing on the map. In strapless surfing for decades. And it is so cool to see this man up on the podium and well deserved. All right, Gabrielle dropping in, floating it out. Here we have for the first wave. Benetton, two turns. Machu dropping in as well. The backside standoff. Oh, floats it up and holds it together. Going vertical, Machu. Linking it together. Can he get past that white water? Looks like he doesn't as he goes down. All right, so waiting for numbers to drop as they have had waves. But it looks like at the moment, Gabrielle Benetton in the lead. 22 minutes of action. As we have 20 minutes left, your grand final here of the Copper Kitely GK Kite Surf World Cup. You can see the replay here of Gabriel. Both of these athletes just push back. Really do you push around on those fins. But it is Benetton who has the upper hand so far. All right, so here we have Machu Lopez looking at another one. He wants to get some scores in early. Both of these boys knows what it is to go against each other. Has to be big scores away. Machu, ooh, losing his foot there. Machu losing his foot. He continues on. 6.47 there for Gabrielle Benetton, so in the lead. Gabriel definitely back in position. Matthew going for a second wave. So he is going to take the overall total. But early days, early days here. Four point four zero. So as I said, Gabriel with the upper hand. Your newly crowned world champion from Brazil. The first Goofy Foot world champion as well. 
So taking one for the Goofies. I'm pretty sure that is correct. Or at least in the last decade. And there we have both Machu and Gabriel. So Machu with priority again. As they start over, Machu looking for a second decent score. Putting himself right back into contention. He's going to overtake. But I mean, you know, these guys, they're going to be trading scores after score. We've seen both of them with some of the highest scores of the competition. Plus 16 point averages. And Machu looks like he's liking something that he sees. All right, so Lopez dropping in. Lopez off the top. And a little bit of a one-hit wonder as he comes down. Now it looks like it is reforming down on the sandbank. Machu, foam climb here as well. We know Gabriel is going to be on a wave as well. But here we can see Machu. There it is. There's the 360 with power and style. Now we are talking. Machu Lopez ending it off with a beautiful finisher. All right, so waiting for a number to come up here for Matthew. And here you can see the wave. Started off in the middle of the bay, so where that apex starts to form. And as it hits, that shield break is where he starts to make the magic. So here you can see the wave starting to get vertical. Foam climb here on the inside, and now this is where he has the power. And is lining it up. His signature move. Boof. Stretches it out. And with speed and ease. Machu Lopez here. A beautiful wave there for him. All right, so I can tell you that a big score is going to be coming in here for Machu. All right, Machu dropping in again as he is going to be your current leader. Oh, he gets it. Oh, going for the move. With that back roll, Matthew. But just not getting the landing. Oh, mixing it up with freestyle veins. I like it. I like it. So, Gabriel Benetton. And there it is. Matthew Lopez, a 7-4-3. 13.53. So, Matthew applying the pressure. Here we can see the replay of that back row attempt. He gets it over, but just losing the feet. If he could land that, we could potentially be seeing some of the best scores of the day. Let's not forget on that day number two, in round number two, he got an 8.83, the best wave of the contest so far. And Machu Lopez at the moment commanding this heat. So we're just approaching those 14 minutes. And he already has a 13.53. But Gabriel's big score is better than his backup score. So anything can happen. And we saw it. We saw it just now in between Gili Brandao and Artur Marais. It can all come down to that final wave. Because at the moment, fourth position, we have Artur Moraes, third position, Gilly Brandao, and who is going to be second, and who is going to be our champion, we will find out in 13 and a half minutes.
All right, here we have Gabriel. No, decided against it. Match, you dropping in. Oh, he's got the face. Yes, he does, and he takes it apart. Looking to improve over a 6.10. Going all the way down. It worked for him before. Seeing if this will hit the shore break. And it does look like it. it's getting a nice vertical face here for him. Oh, he's trying it. Machu is trying it. But just not quite getting the landing. It's perfect conditions for it as well with that onshore. So he just has to leave the kite in the same position and be able to perform that maneuver. If he could land that. We are going to see some big numbers. We are going to see some big numbers. As we are here for your final day, your winner's final of the Copper Kite EGK Kite Surf World Cup. On your screen right now, Gabrielle Benetton dropping in. Here we go. Signed against it. It looked like it was closing out. All right, here we can see him down at the bottom. Yep, the guys pushing on. see the vibe down here all right so Matthew All right, Matthew asking for ways to come his way. He already has that 13.53. So less than nine minutes to go. Benetton now, 6.47, 6.47. So he is right back out there as he has a 12.94. Machu Lopez, Yeah, the boy's just vibing. I love it. This is what we want to see. It's that sportsmanship. Both of them just going, seeing what a wave is coming. Eight minutes to go as they are out there. Who is going to be the champion here? Inibidakera. Is it going to be Matthew Lopez? Is it going to be Gabriel Benetton? We will soon know who our champion is. We already have our new world champion, Benetton, as by making it into the finals, he grabbed his first kite surf discipline. World championship title, Gilly Brandao there. Third position here. 
as the vibes in the Stoke is happening down here in Brazil. It's a little chillier here with this south wind. As you can see everybody covered up. But what a day of action it has been already. As we are, I just want to see one more set coming in. I want to see one more set coming in as these boys can battle it out to the very end. Okay, so Benetton here. Looks like a set is coming his way. Yes, it is. He is definitely going to be engaging. Gabriel Benetton having a little look-see. Matthew going back out. Is Gabriel going to be going on this wave? Body language says yes. Yeah, he is waiting. All right, Benetton, here we go. Dropping in. First turn. Just keeping the speed to be able to get past the phone ball. Oh, perfect turning. And perfect timing there for Benetton. Wave not really opening up on the bottom part. And now it is starting to go up. Vertical from Gabriel. Vertical from Matthew. Turn for turn, pound for town down here. And Matthew with the double whammy. Back to back. Now as it comes down to the bottom, you can see that wind turn ever so slightly. Cut back turn to see if he can get back into the section. Matthew timing it here off the top and around. Matthew all the way down. And he's going to milk this to the very end by the looks of it. Yes, he is. As he pushes it out. Here we can see the replay of both of those ways. So, Gabriel on your screen now. All right, so numbers dropping in. Oh, it's looking evening up for both of these guys. It is looking even up for both of these guys. Has Gabriel done enough to overtake Matthew? We will soon find out. He had a 6.47 and a 6.47. So he's looking to increase on this. Matthew had a 7.43 and a 6.1. As we are just coming up on about four and a half minutes left. Here we can see the replay of that last wave of Machu. Look at that vertical. Bim! As we go back to the action as both of them are out there. 7.33 Machu Lopez. 14.76. So Machu Lopez at the moment in the driving seat. But this is not over until the buzzer. He's going to drop in again. As he goes for another wave, Matthew Lopez, here we go. Oh, starts off nice, off the top, big vertical turn. The board going to the sky. Wraps himself around, keeps looking down the line. Gabriel was looking at a set as well. Matthew is happy. I mean, you can see he's stoked. He is happy out there. Matthew is just having a good time. Gabriel, oh, one of the better set waves we've seen so far. Works it around. <laughs> And the boys are just enjoying themselves. As it is a battle. This is, I mean, this is the vibes we want to see in a final. Both of them just stoke for each other. And it really is the best man will win here on the day. Gabriel, he's obviously seen something in this as he continues on. Matthew back again. Will we see him land that backflip rotation he's been trying? Will the wave allow him? 7.33 for that last wave. 7.43. Very consistent, Matthew. He has been the main player during the whole event. Together with Gabriel Benetton. Matthew, he goes. Oh! Trying to get the back roll, but not getting the landing. He wants it. He wants that move. Coming up on two and a half minutes. Coming up on two and a half minutes. Uh, 
All right, Gabriel making his way back. Is he going to be turning around, looking at the kite it does out there on that eight-meter session? Your core rider, two minutes. Matthew's going to be counting the seconds. 120 seconds. Matthew. Oh, some freestyle vibes as well. Giving a show down here on the beach. Ninety seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Ninety seconds before we know who the winner is going to be. At the moment, it is the Spaniard, Machu Lopez, with Cape Verdean blood in his veins. Oh, Gabriel, can he get it? Oh, he was trying it as well. As we are going to be coming in to that final minute, final minute. Matthew already starting to celebrate. One minute to go. Gabriel trying to get a surf here on the end as well. He's looking for a move. Gabriel Benetton, boom, underneath the lip. 40 seconds. Matthew is up top. Gabriel is down the bottom. Thirty seconds to go. Matthew in position as he knows it is coming to the end of this heat. And ladies and gentlemen, it is over. We are waiting for official results to come in. But that is your grand final while we're waiting we will be right back after this short commercial break. And there it is. It is official, ladies and gentlemen. Machu Lopez is the winner here of the Copa Kitely GK Kite Surf World Cup. Your numero uno. Hey, you can see it's Frank Cowton. And it is. There is the flag. Machu Lopez, your winner as he brings it down, releases it all, and holds it up high. Matthew Lopez, congratulations there to him as he is getting up. Matthew Lopez, your winner here. There we go. There we go. Number one, and that's what we want to see. Gabriel Benetton, also the finalist, and lifting him up on the shoulders. So Lopez, the number one athlete here in Brazil. What a day. What a sensation. And he crowns himself champion in Brazil. All right, so there it is. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning into the stream here for your Copper Kitely GK Kitesurf World Cup in Brazil. On behalf of the GK, congratulations to these men, to Machu Lopez for taking the win here in Brazil, for Gabriel Benetton for becoming the new world champion, and thank you very much, everybody, for joining us here. 
I am Josie Ashley. It has been an absolute pleasure bringing you the action from Brazil to all around the world. And we will continue on. But we will leave you with this image. Your champion here in Ibiraquera, Matthew Lopez. Okay, bye.
this is a dream come true.